Hello everyone, my name is Ayappa Machanda, Senior SAP Specialist at AWS. With me, I have Srinath from the Partner Solutions Architect. Srinath, you want to give a quick intro? Sure. Hello everyone, I'm Srinath Midi, I'm Principal SA at AWS. So today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, automating SAP HANA database restore uh, using AWS Systems Manager. So Srinath, uh, I'd like to understand what are the challenges uh, with uh, the restore process for database at this point. Thank you. Thanks for asking that question. Before I start uh, uh, answering how we solve, how we can solve that challenge, I want to give a pre-brief on a uh, little bit of background by explaining what we created for SAP HANA databases. In 2019, we we launched a service called AWS Backend Agent for SAP HANA Database. This application, it is a SAP certified uh, uh, application that runs on your Amazon EC2 instances, which helps you to take your backups and uh, store them directly in Amazon S3 bucket, which improves um, your operational excellence as well as which helps you to secure your backups by storing them in Amazon S3 bucket. And another uh, key feature of this is like, uh, you don't need to store that locally and then transfer it to Amazon S3. So once your uh, backup is in Amazon S3 bucket, that gives you various uh, capabilities or opportunities to further automate and excel in your operations. So one of the use cases behind that is like uh, achieving this automated uh, restore using AWS Systems Manager documents. And I want to start by what is uh, AWS Systems Manager, which gives you visibility and control of your infrastructure in AWS. So Systems Manager provides a unified uh, 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 interface for you to view operational data from multiple AWS uh, resources that you have within your VPC. So one of that is like using AWS SSM document uh, to solve that very problem, which is like custom for customers, uh, restoring the databases from production onto quality system or non-production system is like a routine maintenance activity. And it is a very complex and time-consuming activity for customers, which is prone to making errors or mistakes when you have new team members and you know various other challenges that you may come across. So that problem is solved by using uh, our AWS SSM document uh, with which you can restore from production database. Yeah, that's great, uh, Srinath. I mean, uh, I think the explanation was very detailed, uh, but you know, can you deep dive again on sure. what are the benefits of using this process? Yeah. Uh, as I have drawn here, I want to quickly show you how the uh, flow happens and then how the customers take benefit of it. So assume that you are running your SAP production uh, system on an Amazon EC2 instance, uh, which I have uh, pre-drawn here. This is your uh, you know, SAP HANA running on an Amazon EC2 instance. You use AWS Backend Agent and then uh, send your backups to Amazon S3 buckets. So your ba your backups are now in Amazon S3, both your database backups as well as the log backups. So once they are there, uh, assume that uh, you have a requirement where you want to refresh your non-production system with the production uh, data that you have. So now, by using the SSM document, uh, which is in the description of this link, we have uh, uh, we have open sourced the code. You are welcome to use the code and customize it as you need it. So once you import that SSM document into uh, your account, uh, that will give you these capabilities, okay? So once your data is in Amazon S3, assume that you are an admin user here uh, where you use uh, AWS Systems Manager and using that you will call an SSM document and the SSM document is going to check the backup that is there in your Amazon S3 and then restores it on uh, the non-production system uh, of your choice, whichever you are going to build. And the systems manager will communicate with your Amazon S3 bucket and then your target non-production environment 
and as I have drawn here, uh, Amazon CloudWatch is leveraged by Systems Manager to log uh, each and every step and then give you the information about it. So as you see here, uh, this is the flow on how, you, how, how it happens and then uh, the SSM document that is there takes care of uh, uh, restoring it once you specify the backup that you want to restore and the timestamp that you want to roll forward it into, it completes that and then uh, your non-production system is uh, now refreshed with your production database. And uh, coming back to the question that you asked Ayapa, which is like, what are the key benefits of using this? The primary benefit is like, you can shorten your restore uh, process Assume that if it was taking three days to complete your restore out of which one day is being taken by let's say uh, even uh, 12 to 14 hours is taken care by your database time depending on your database size. However, um, it, it involves manual steps. Someone has to manually go copy the backup locally or uh, issue the commands manually and all. So that process is now automated. So the benefit is like you shorten your restore window and the second benefit is like uh, the chances of doing any manual errors are slim. Uh, by automating, you are avoiding any possible manual errors there. Uh, those are the key benefits of it. Well, that's great, uh, Srinath. I think this is definitely a useful process uh, for any uh, customer who's using HANA database. Uh, uh, can we also uh, dive deep on some of the use cases uh, to automate, uh, to use this automation process of HANA DB? Great question. Uh, in my opinion, you don't need to stop it for just using the restore process or uh, completing the refreshes. Rather, uh, you can extend this beyond that. For example, uh, you, if you want to do any prototyping or if you are using any new, uh, if you need a new system to experiment, you can again uh, leverage this process and then create uh, your target or the new system using this pro this process. And also please check out our other video on AWS Launch Wizard for SAP. Uh, for example, let's say my use case is like you want to create a new system uh, within a couple of weeks or you know within a couple of days, for example, right? Launch Wizard uh, automates creation of your uh, SAP S4 HANA out of the box. You know, it's, the, it's a brand new vanilla system, for example, right? And then once you complete that, you can add this uh, process into your launch wizard and as soon as that is done you can use this SSM document to refresh it with the production data. So in, in summary you can install the brand new system using launch wizard and refresh us using uh, this SSM document so which means you are getting uh, production like test system that is the test system with production data uh, within a uh, couple of days. Uh, this is great, Srinath. I think uh, you know you've touched on, touched base on all the key benefits of using the automated restore process uh, provided by AWS. So I hope this uh, video here was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.